Okay, so here's the latest. Um, I've got the Pogo Connect stylus. And you can see I've really got no user interface on the iPad right here except for the drawing canvas. And the way I've got it set up is I can double tap on the button and it brings up our pen options. And so I can choose the color that I want to use, I can choose the shape. Um, for now, I'll stick with the circle. Um, I can choose the thickness variance and the opacity variance based on, upon the pressure. So I'll double tap the button again and just kind of show you an example. You can see the harder you press, the um, more opaque and thicker it is. But if I just hold down the button, so if I double tap, it brings up the options. Double tap again and close it. If I just hold it down, it actually is an eraser, so I can erase. So double tap again. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is just make a really light and thin pen stroke. And I'll make it black. Close. Go ahead and erase this. And so, you know, this could be good if you're doing some initial sketching. So now if I want to go ahead and start adding some emphasis to this, let's make the stroke a little bit thicker and more opaque. And for each one of these, you have kind of a minimum value and a maximum value based upon the pressure. So if you press, press the hardest, in this case the thickness is only going to be, you know, um, it's still going to be pretty thin. If I put the highest one all the way up here, you know, when I push down really hard it's going to be completely opaque, but if I have it down here and I push down really hard it's only going to be partially opaque. But let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and change the tip to the cal calligraphy tip and I'll go ahead and make it a little bit thicker so we get a little bit more emphasis. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it red. We'll switch back to a circle. And I want it really thick, but I don't want a lot of opacity at this point. And, and you can see here I actually made that too dark, so I can just hold down the button to erase. You know, I, st I still need to play with a couple of these settings. Make it black, and let's make it pretty uh, sharp again, so I can touch up a few things. I forgot the outline here.
I'm gonna make it green here, but let's say I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. And um we'll do this. Make it a little bit bigger. But we don't want it quite as opaque. Let's try the circle. A circle tends to work best for coloring large areas, These days, at least with my experimentation so far. Like the music you're listening to right now on Spotify. Did you know you can even get postage on demand at stamps.com? It's like having a post office right on your desk. With stamps.com, you can buy and print U.S. Oh. postage for letters or packages using your computer. Never go to the post office again. And now, Spotify listeners get a special offer, including free postage. Click on the banner or go to stamps.com, click on the microphone, and type in Spotify. So hopefully you can get kind of a general idea of the types of things it can do. 